This is the story of how one man's wish to tap the perfect beer turned into life-saving equipment for thousands of mine workers. This is the extraordinary story of Draeger, a company with an unusual range of different products. A story that may seem unlikely at first, but actually makes perfect sense. More on this later. The ambitious precision engineer Johann Heinrich Draeger is unhappy. It's the end of the 19th century and beer flows into barroom glasses erratically and unevenly. Draeger finds this unacceptable. Working with his son Bernard, he devises a pressure reducer which regulates the carbonation from high-pressure cylinders. The patent for the Lubeka valve shown here being delivered by the mailman lays the foundation for this extraordinary company. The beer tap system is a financial success. But for this father and son team, that isn't enough. Bernard in particular is obsessed with inventions and innovations. His father once said that a good fairy had bestowed the art of invention on him from an early age. Bernard's ambition leads him to invent a closed circuit breathing apparatus for rescue operations. He tests the apparatus himself, in his backyard, at work, inside a mine. It constantly improves. On March 10, 1906, a powerful explosion shakes a coal mine in Courrier, France. Many miners lose their lives, while 600 others are rescued. The rescuers wear the 1904-09 mining apparatus, which supplies them with breathing air for up to two hours. The public response is overwhelming. Draeger expands. By 1907, they already gained attention across the pond in Canada and the USA. The apparatus is given its own name, and its users soon call themselves by that name as well. Dragerman. 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 The success story doesn't end there. The Dragerman continued to become even more famous. He even appears at Superman's side in a comic book. Can a breathing apparatus give you superpowers? Satisfaction with success did not make Bernard Drager complacent, and he continued to develop a series of innovations. Firefighters, doctors, police officers, divers, hospital patients, and many more all benefit from the stream of inventions flowing from Lübeck, Germany. Even countless canaries owe their lives to the Drager technology. Drager gas detectors replace these birds and measure carbon monoxide in the mining industry. But equipment is not the only thing produced at the Drager plant. The Lübeck company quickly realizes the importance of quality soda lime and how it affects the overall performance of their breathing apparatus. Drager decides to invest early in large modern production facilities and manufacture to their own specification. And today it is used in countless anesthesia workstations and other applications. But with every invention and innovation, one thing always remains the same. The company remains in the hands of the Drager family. Heinrich Drager takes over from his father, Bernard Drager. Later, Heinrich's own son Christian becomes president of the company, followed by his brother Theo, and finally Christian's son Stefan Drager, who now controls the company's destiny. What also remains the same? The company continues to push boundaries. Drager's respiratory products were the first to be used in the stratosphere. They supplied oxygen to Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay during their historic ascent of Mount Everest. Draeger's products were used in deep sea exploration and later even went to outer space in the space shuttle and space lab. But meanwhile, back below the surface of the Earth, Draeger continues to carve out its own path. It creates new prototypes for the Draegermen, catering to the needs of its customers around the world working with them to create, test, evaluate, and improve its products. The development of Draeger products is extensive, the process sometimes lengthy, and involving countless tests. Why? Because people like the Boutets, the Joliets, the Wilsons, Glenn Duffy, Jim Lundrigan, John Hagen, Simone Hencher, and everyone who works underground entrust their lives to Draeger equipment. Draeger offers masks, escape equipment, detectors, and even mine rescue vehicles for all these mine rescuers. It also supports mine safety organizations around the world, commits resources to push research, sponsors events such as IMRB. Draeger listens to its customers, organizes meetings, brings experts together, and conducts tests with them. Many think of these events as family reunions. And just to make sure that the first Draeger invention doesn't collide with this one, Draeger invented this as well. 
And perhaps now you can see why our unusual portfolio actually comes as no surprise. Because no matter what Draeger develops, it always places a high demand on quality. And it has a purpose. It is designed to protect and rescue people, and to protect, support, and save lives. This is what all of our many different products have in common. They all turn technology into technology for life.